Just under two hours from now, the Brother Martin football team will take the field for its first playoff game against Archbishop Shaw. But they will be doing it without one of their star players. Senior Rod Teamer, the 17 year old, has been suspended after police say he knocked out a fellow teammate, knocking him unconscious on school grounds Wednesday. Reporter Andy Cunningham joins us live from Joe Yanni Stadium in Metairie, where that game will be played tonight. And Andy, what kind of trouble is the student looking at? Potentially a lot, Scott. Not only is he facing felony battery charges, but his future as an athlete at the high school level and beyond may also now be in jeopardy. When they um, took him to the hospital, he didn't know who he was, where he was, and he's still having memory loss today. The results, attorney Robert Jenkins said, of a blow to the head his now 16 year old client suffered Wednesday while on campus at Brother Martin High School. The family of the victim is seeking justice from what took place. 17 year old Rod Teamer turned himself into authorities Thursday morning and now faces a charge of felony second degree battery. According to the police report, Teamer was in the weight room of the school and was instructing the team to get serious. That's when the report states his younger teammate stood up and raised his arms in the air. At that time, Teamer, the team captain, punched the victim in the mouth, knocking him unconscious. When you look at this thing, um, the kid is still suffering. He had a concussion and um, it's just something that shouldn't have happened. Teamer, a senior at Brother Martin, plays safety for the Crusaders and is routinely considered one of the better players in the entire region at his position. But now his high school career and beyond could be in jeopardy. His future in jeopardy in terms of his freedom, any football career, and collegiate career. Um, I, I know that it was something that happened so quickly, but. It's the violence that's associated with it that's really unbelievable, and his future is in doubt. The school could not comment on the situation Friday, but Jenkins said both Brother Martin and the Archdiocese are fully cooperating with the investigation. Brother Martin and the authorities that we spoke with was not concerned about the playoff game. They were concerned about my client and how he's doing. And that, that's why I told you that they really, really reacted well and helped us through this. Now, I did reach out to both Teamer's attorney as well as Brother Martin's, but at this time I have not heard back. Now, tonight's game between the Crusaders and the Eagles of Archbishop Shaw kicks off here at Joe Yenny Stadium at 7 o'clock. Reporting live on your side from Metairie, I'm Andy Cunningham, WDSU News. Andy, thanks. According to attorney Robert Jenkins, Teamer is suspended from school as well. The case is now in the hands of the district attorney.